Analysis by mass of a certain compound shows that it contains 14% hydrogen and 86% carbon. Which of the following is the most informative statement that can be properly made about the compound on the basis of these data? Okay, so this is a percent mass, percent composition kind of question. So we've got 14% hydrogen, 86% carbon. So the trick here is to imagine we have 100 grams of carbon. Oh, sorry, 100 grams of the compound, whatever it might be. Since 14% of it by mass is hydrogen, we can then make this the assumption that it's 14 grams of hydrogen for every 86 grams of carbon, right? Just change the percentages into grams. Now let's convert these into moles. So this would be equal to this one gram per mole of H. So we're going to have 14 moles of H. And for carbon, we've got 12 grams of carbon per one mole of carbon. So 86 divided by 12, uh, that is what? Uh, 12, 60, um, 72, 84. So it's about, it looks like about seven moles, about seven moles. Uh, not exact, but pretty close. Okay, so uh, 14 moles of hydrogen, about seven moles of carbon. So notice we have a one to two ratio, right? a seven to 14 ratio of carbon to hydrogen. And we can reduce that down to a one to two ratio of carbon to hydrogen in terms of moles. So its empirical formula is indeed CH2, choice B. It is a hydrocarbon. Um, that is true, yeah, it is a hydrocarbon. But is it the most informative statement? Well, actually, no, B is much more informative. Not only does B tell us it's a hydrocarbon, it actually gives us the empirical ratios between the elements. So even though A is true, it's not going to be informative enough. C, its molecular formula is C2H4. We have no idea if that's the case. It could be, but we need more information. In fact, we need the molar mass. Its molar mass is 28 grams per mole. Maybe, well, no, unlikely in this case. Um, well, actually, no, it could be. Uh, but again, they don't tell us that we can't determine it. It contains a triple bond. Again, maybe could be true um, or not. Depends on the situation. Uh, we don't have any proof of that being actually true. So the only really answer here is B because it's true and it's the most informative one we can do.